over to Amanda, who is speaking with Miss America 2014 about her work with the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Amanda? We all know Miss America serves to inspire anyone going after a goal, but you may not know she spends each year as the official ambassador for Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Joining us to talk about her role is Miss America 2014, Nina. Good morning, Nina. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. And I'm sure in the last year, your world has been turned upside down as Miss America. But tell us about your experience, one, as being Miss America, and then also working with the Children's Miracle Network. It's been such an incredible year, and uh, one of the best parts of my job is to be able to serve as the National Goodwill Ambassador for Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. And um, this year I've been able to visit many hospitals across the country, and oftentimes when I do a hospital visit, the children don't necessarily know who I am or what I am, but all they see is that a princess has walked into the room for a day. And so to see those genuine heartfelt smiles on these children's faces and take their mind off of their treatments for even a couple minutes is one of the best parts of my job. How many of the little girls wanted to try on your crown? Because that would be the first thing that I would want to do. <laughs> I always let them try the crown on. <laughs> well, I wish you were here right now with me so I could try on your crown. But is there a memory in the past year that really stands out to you? There is. Uh, one of the things I was able to participate in is the ambassador program for CMN hospitals. And uh, what they do is they choose one child from every state. We call them champion children. And they fly them as well as their families out to Orlando and uh, via Delta Airlines. And then we also do a DC tour. And we stay at the JW Marriott, which is lovely. And Marriott is also celebrating the champions in the local communities as well this year. But the moms also get a little, um, a couple accessories from Chico's, which is nice. And and it's just a really wonderful two-week event to really hear the stories of the children who have benefited from CMN hospitals as well as their families as well. All right, now let's talk about you being Miss America. What has the past year been like? <laughs> it has been such a whirlwind. Um, the night I won, I was asked to repack my belongings into two suitcases, and I have been living out of those two suitcases since September. So I'm winding down now, and as Miss America, I won $50,000 in scholarship money. So after this year, I will be going back uh, to get my graduate degree, and I'll be going to MBA school to get my MBA after this. Congratulations to you. That is quite the accomplishment. Now, for all of the little girls watching out there that have always dreamed of being Miss America, what are some tips that you have for them? <laughs> I always say to be yourself, and I know that's so much easier said than done, and it's, it's so easy to lose yourself in today's society. So know who you are, love who you are, and stand up for who you are. And you mentioned you're going back to getting your MBA. Where is your future going? I am. Well, I graduated from University of Michigan, so I'm not ruling out my alma mater, but I have a couple other top schools in mind. Uh, we'll see where the cards fall, but focusing on international relations, nonprofit work, I'm definitely working with my platform still, um, which, as I mentioned, was celebrating diversity through cultural competency. And how are you going to springboard your Miss America reign into your future endeavors? Well, when you have a job like this, it really opens so many doors. It's such a year of incredible networking opportunities. So I think I've aligned myself pretty well to, uh, for, I suppose, my life after Miss America and use this title to really focus on my education. And we always talk about the most amazing things that your reign as Miss America has brought to you, but I'm sure there has been some challenges for you. What are some of your biggest challenges <laughs> that you've experienced in the past year and how have you overcome them? It's definitely been hard. I mean, you're on the road every single day. I'm usually no place longer than 48 hours at a time, so I literally go from city to city, event to event, and living out of suitcases and hotel rooms. I don't get breaks. Um, I don't get to see my family or friends really often. So it really is a year of service. You give up your life, your personal life, everything to do this job. Um, so that, you know, that is difficult. It's a hard job. It's exhausting. But like I said, just the amount of networks that you create from this is, is also worth the opportunity. Well, Nina, you have done an absolutely wonderful job as Miss America 2014. Thank you so much for everything you have done in the past year, and congratulations to you on your future endeavors. Thank you. And don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend will be back before you know it.